Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi was in Sri Lanka over the weekend to mark 65 years of diplomatic ties between the two nations. And during his two-day visit, Colombo sought to reschedule its huge Chinese debt burden. Now, Wang Yi's visit came at a time when the South Asian nation is crippling under an acute financial crisis with inflation at its highest level in decades. For the last few months, Sri Lanka's foreign reserves have plummeted, while the foreign debts have spiked. On Sunday, the Chinese foreign minister met with the Sri Lankan president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa. According to the statement released by the Lankan president's office, Rajapaksa pointed out that it would be a great relief to the country if attention could be paid on restructuring the debt payments as a solution to the economic crisis that has arisen in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Rajabaksa also requested China to provide concessional terms for its exports to Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's declining foreign reserves are partly blamed on infrastructure projects built with Chinese loans that don't make money. Now, China loaned money to build a seaport and airport in the southern Hambantota district, in addition to a wide network of roads. Note that the Chinese foreign minister did not meet the visit to uh, North Sri Lanka during his visit. Now, China is Sri Lanka's fourth biggest lender behind the international financial markets, the Asian Development Bank and Japan. And according to government data, China accounts for about 10 percent of Sri Lanka's $35 billion foreign debt to April 2021. In December of last year, a $1.5 billion yuan swap from China helped the island boost its reserves to $3.1 billion. During his visit, Wang Yi also held talks with the Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, where the two leaders discussed a host of issues, including promoting tourism, investments and the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. We appreciate you. China's assistance towards our economic revival and financial stability. There is still a long way to go in establishing normally normalcy, but we were confident that with support from different countries like China, we will be able to overcome these challenges soon. I look forward to continue working closely with you and the government of China. Now, for more on the Wang Yi visit amid Sri Lanka's financial crisis, our correspondent, Desunia Tora, has sent us this report from Colombo. Listen in. The Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi was in Sri Lanka on a two-day official tour, but if you look at the timing, it was less than 24 hours, provided that he arrived in the island late evening on Saturday and left the island in early evening on Sunday. So during this very compact visit, it was seen that he met with President Gotabe Rajapaksa as well as Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, following which, along with the President and the Prime Minister, the Chinese Foreign Minister then proceeded to open the walking promenade of the Colombo port city, which is seen as one of China's best and biggest investments here in the island nation. The concept of debt restructuring was one of the key highlights that came out and came about out of this tour. But it is not clear how and when this level of debt restructuring will take place here in the country or on what grounds such restructuring will take place with Sri Lanka and China. It is a well-known fact that China is one of Sri Lanka's biggest investors apart from international money markets, the ADB and other similar financial institutions. They have also provided nearly 5 billion US dollars worth of money for infrastructure and development projects for Sri Lanka across the past decade. That's not all. According to the president's media division, it was said that tourists from China will be allowed to visit Sri Lanka, provided that they adhere to the biobubble concept after the COVID-19 pandemic here in the country and around the world. It will be interesting to see how Sri Lanka will be going about this debt restructuring concept, especially with a country as big as China, given that the country is currently in an acute economical crisis and will surely look to China for help. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.